Hello, it is wash day for my poo poo. Look at all this hair. My baby hair has grown. Hold on, try to. My baby getting tall. My baby getting tall. Look back here. Hold your head up as best you can. <laughs> Not like that. Maya, there we go. Poised. Her head is back here. I'm like, oh, guys, guys, guys. My baby. Well, my baby hair used to be kind of stand up for me. There you go. Used to come way down here. <laughs> <laughs> and mommy put a perm in her hair when I was pregnant with my third. Mm. And I just thought it would be more manageable. And so I would, my formula was like to put one perm in once a year. And mess around and put a harsh perm in the following year. And it just was too harsh for her hair. And um, it began to break off. And I was so upset. So, so, so upset. And just kept a praying and kept a praying and kept a praying. And I just began to get a piece that my baby hair would grow bad. And so, as it would grow, I would cut off the um, perm relaxed ends, and it grow, and I just cut off the relaxed ends. And it still might be a few right here, right in here, it might be a few more. Not much, but a, but a, a few. <laughs> because I got to the point that every wash day, or even when I was doing her hair and I would spray the ends with, um, the Shea Moisture product. I just would cut it off. Each time I do, did a hair that I was just like, hmm, let me let, me let it grow. It's, it's fine. And so anyway, we're about to do her hair. It's a job. You're like, she said, like, can I wear it like this, mommy? And I'm like, we got to wash it now, poo poo. And so that's what we're, what we're about to do. What I did for her hair is I kind of prep her scalp. And I go in, um, cause she was diagnosed with eczema, and I just go in and make sure she don't have any dry, crusted patches, and she tends to have one one spot in the back. Um, I found some, I think maybe up in here somewhere. But, um, I'm about to go in and shampoo um, her hair a couple of times because I do it about once a month. And this is the time of the year that her, um, the eczema, her scalp really flares up. And so I'm kind of going to run a test. I do her hair one, I do her hair once a month, um, shampoo it. I'm going to move it to twice a month and see, I'm just kind of measuring out how this summer 
we can control it not um, flaring up as much. So I got, we have some medicated um, shampoo. I'm going to put it on the screen, um, the name of it. And I'm going to go and do her hair with that first and then follow up with some tea tree, some good stuff. And we're about to get started on this. Say see you later. See you later. <laughs> Hit the button. Hit the button. She's wetting her scalp right now. She has a ton of hair. And watch it. Look at this shrinkage. You see that? Boom. Boom. And what I'm going to shampoo it with is this medicated shampoo. See the color of it? Looks like strawberry. Huh? What does it smell like? Hmm. It's not. See. You want to see? It's not a. It's not an unpleasant smell. I'm concentrating right here in the back of her hair because, like I said, her scalp doesn't do this all over. And I'm gonna concentrate in the front of her hair because her hair has this flakiness and patches. Um, not throughout her hair. And this is what this is supposed to help treat. I'm gonna so, smell it. Okay, hold it. Just smell it. Look at the back of this. And I'm just gonna massage it into her scalp. Mm. How does it smell? Yucky. <laughs> but yucky doesn't smell it. Mm. It doesn't smell yucky to me. But. Let me see, and I'll put some in the front. That's what she tends to have. That flaking. Okay, and what I got on her scalp now, I'm going to have it covered up, is Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle. During this season, I can, um, I'm not a avid shampooer. I've been working on shampooing my hair more because I mainly co-wash. Co but since my scalp had been itchy, I started using this along with my daughter, the Tea Tree shampoo by Trader Joe's. It says it has peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus botanicals, and this stuff is really, really, really good. <laughs> when I'm doing my hair, I follow up with a, um, a light conditioner, just in case it, um, you know, strip my hair, and that's what I'm going to do with her. I'm going to follow up with this moisture milk. After I finish with this tea tree, this this is my VO5. It's very light and it's very um kind of water consistency, so I really love it. So I'm gonna follow up with that after this tea tree. This tea tree is really good. Got an itchy scalp. You can let it sit on your scalp for a few minutes, and you'll just feel it tingle, 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 tingle. When your child has thick hair, I mean, her hair is literally like a mop. I know that's not a good analogy, but I say that because you know how mop is all up in there? Like, her hair is so thick. I mean, I don't know if you already picked all that up, but you got to make sure, just because you think it's one way on the outside, she just has so much hair. And even when I do her hair, it takes days to dry because it is literally so thick. Okay, I kind of brighten it up in here. I hope you can see the pick up on how thick her hair is. See all that? I think this kind of hair makes the most beautiful twist out. 
Hey. But her hair does have shrinkage. Shrinkage, shrinkage, shrinkage. And I'm making an absolute mess. And so this is the VO5. Look, I've used it was brand new. I'm right here. That's how much I got left. And the cool thing about it is so affordable. I think it's like what 75, 79 cent at Kroger. If you have a Kroger grocery store, how much it costs at Walmart? Like 89 or something like that. But it's so affordable. And so this is just helping put Marsha back in her hair. And I'm about to put a protein conditioner in her hair and sit her up under the dryer. Yeah, so I just go in now and I section her hair. <laughs> now, when I'm doing my hair, I do four sections. But when I do her hair, I do a bunch. Because <laughs> her hair is just so, 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 so um, thick. And so I'm going to go in right now and put some of this. This is repairing our Pui Ginger Conditioner. Um, this is by Organics, and I love this stuff. It does have a protein in it, and I didn't know that. But I like to put a um, protein in Maya's hair. And so I will be putting this protein in her hair, letting her sit up on the dryer, and then I will be following it up with a uh, um, moisturizing conditioner for a few minutes. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what I was going to say, eight. I'm used to having about eight. Um, and I just go in with these eight sections and I make sure ample conditioner really gets on each strand of her hair just because it's so thick and because I don't do it that often I really wanted to get what it needs oh you might be able to see that um she relax and it's just left so you might be able to see like last time I just massage her scalp it smells so good. I really, really, really like organic products. I don't know where they've been <laughs> hiding, but I don't know. I would see them in the store, and I wasn't really interested in trying them. And it's like, oh, I absolutely love them. And so that's what I do. I just do each little section, and... Just saturate it real nice with conditioner. Shit it here. And it smells so good. I don't know if it's maybe a little bit too perfect perfumey for y'all, but what turned me on to this particular one is um I've been to a Paul Mitchell school. And at the Paul Mitchell School, they have that owl pool and ginger. It's a line that Paul Mitchell has. And it was really cool because I had called the school back to try to purchase it. And it was, um, they don't sell it, but I can't order it on eBay. And it's really expensive. So it was cool to just get, still be able to get the owl pool and ginger at affordable price for under 10 bucks and I'm pleased with it but it is important for my hair and so I'm just going to follow suit for my even though me and my have two different hair textures it's important that I see with me I have to follow it with a <coughs> moisturizing condition <coughs> and that just helps me not overload my hair with protein
Okay. And oh, my mama. Look your head up here. And this is her hair. This is how I do it. I put it on the plastic cap. And I put it on the dryer. I think we just started putting her in the dryer maybe towards the end of last year. She graduated to being under the dryer and the stuff I was learning about her hair. She needed to be. Her hair is very thick. I had this much shedded hair so far even though I haven't even um, combed her hair. I just detangled it with my fingers. <laughs> and so here we go. Plastic cap under the dryer. We'll be back. Hold your head on my head. Let me put your cap on. We might have to put two. We need to put two on. Yeah. <laughs> Hold your head on. Okay. We're about to rinse this out. She was on the dryer. I think it was about 20 minutes at least. At least 20 minutes. I'm just gonna rinse this out, cool it out, and ginger. And then just um, follow it up with a moisturizing condition. Oh, you need a sweet pea. With a moisturizing conditioner. Just let it sit on the husky out for about a couple of minutes. And rinse it out and style it. And the hair feels good. It feels real good. It feels real good. Usually when I shampoo her hair, it's the most easiest to style. She has tons of hair, so I have to really lift up her hair all over. And turn it from the left and to the right and make sure the product is actually out of her scalp. That feels really nice. Real nice. And once you put that, that dryer, mix that dry with the, um, your product or sometimes people even heat up their products in the microwave it just really helps penetrate the scalp and really get in there and do what you need it to do and for a moisturizer conditioner this is my final step before I um style her hair this is um nourish spa it's a balanced moisturizing and i'm just basically has um, argan oil in here to smooth and shine and i'm just gonna put this in her hair that's sit on her cap sit on her hair for a few moments while she's um right here at the sink and i'm gonna rinse it out it's just giving her moisture after that um protein and I don't even section her hair for this. But I am. Let's see, I got about this much left in this bottle. I don't know if I use this whole bottle on her, but I do have another brand new bottle in the back. So I can make sure. Turn a little bit, baby. So I can make sure I get every bit of hair. Okay, turn this way, sweet pea. Since I got her hair 
sometimes it's really challenging to get my fingers in it. But since our hair has been shampooed, it's easier to put my fingers in it. Okay, more shedded hair, and now it's all rinsed out and about to style it. I never know how I'm going to style her hair. I just kind of go for it, and I get real creative with her hair since I don't <laughs> know how to do cornrows as of now. I tend to get real creative. We'll see what I create today. I'm about to style it. I just wanted you to see this shrinkage. It's like, whoa. I mean, it literally looks like an afro. It's so shrunk. I know they have products out there that promise to elongate. So, just wanted to show you that. How her hair shrinks up. Hello, and we are back, and we're done. Everybody say, yay, we're done. Yay, I used we're to, done. <laughs> I used to do both of my daughter's hair at the same time, but since my hair, Maya's hair is getting so much longer and so much thicker, I know Maya needed her own special day. And I love the way I do Maya's hair. It's, it's never planned. I just kind of go for it. Turn around, Maya. I have four braids right here. And just the other half of her hair. I just did a bunch of twists and connect them. I did a pile of twists in the middle, connected them. Did two twists on the side, two twists on the side, connected them. I connected them all to this. Um, make sure they can see it. All to this right here. And so it's just, see those two? And then turn this way, baby. And then you see these two, and they connected. And hold down. I did six right here and four right here. And as the week goes on, Maya's um they begin to fall and they look so pretty. And um I the goal is for me to take them down, but sometimes she's just playing. And like last week they came down and they was hanging down and I said Oh, my, you want me to pin it back up? And she was like, no. I said, I know they look cute, don't they? And she was like, yeah. So, um, we really been liking the different twists. I wanted to just do twists all over her hair. But it's kind of cute how it's just this half and the rest is, you know, kind of tucked away. So, this is her hair for the week. Nice, clean scalp. We love it. I know we sleepy. It'll be my wash day, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I still got to do Keisha hair, so we work all that out. <laughs> but tell everyone, have a great night, and thank you for watching. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Press the button. Press the button. <laughs>